A lady came who was pregnant, and she was a very healthy lady, and she nobody knew she was pregnant. And we didn't have air conditioning at that time. We had the funeral homes gave the churches fans, and this was a very hot day in July, and uh, there was no breeze blowing or anything, and the lady fainted, and. Uh, they took her to the pastor's study, and there was happened to be a doctor there in the audience, and he was a member of the church, and he came forward and discovered that the lady was pregnant. And uh, her husband told Mahalia, who had, I think, three engagements in the South, that he would not allow his wife pregnant to go into the South because at that time uh, black people were not welcome into hospitals and many people had died because there was no space for them, there was nobody to take care of them. And he said he wanted his child to live and his wife too and so she could not go. And so the ministers asked my mother if I could go. At that time I was a lyric soprano and so was this lady. And they asked my mother if I could go and do those three jobs with Mahalia. And my mother allowed me to go. Uh, Mahalia was magnificent. Um, I didn't particularly uh, like her because she didn't let me do what I wanted to. I thought when I got away from my mother on the road, I'd be able to, you know, get down and break it loose and do all the stuff that she wouldn't let me do. And Mahalia was stricter than my mother was. It was a different experience because I know was with different people. I was doing different things, but it was not uh, an astounding, marvelous, what I've been dreaming of situation. It gave me a chance to to learn the art of communication. That's the best I got out of it, because Mahalia Jackson was a communicator beyond any description, and I learned from her. And so in that respect, it was a wonderful experience.